Hi everyone, thanks for joining the webinar today. I hope you all are doing good. Um, I'm Sharon from the Zohan Marketing Team and I'm joined here by Chaitanya who will be helping you all with the Q&As at the end of the session. Could you uh, please give me a thumbs up if you can hear me? Uh, is everyone able? Yeah, great. Okay. Thank you. So before I begin the webinar, uh, I just would like to share a bit of housekeeping notes with you all. Um, yeah. So this webinar is powered by Zoho Meeting, an online meeting platform that helps run webinars such as these. Uh, you can schedule calls and meetings with your internal and external stakeholders alike. And secondly, with respect to this webinar, if you're facing any um, issues, you can always exit, hit a hard refresh and try connecting again. And if on the off chance the issue is still not sorted, you can always count on the recorded version of this webinar, which will be shared with you all uh, within 24 hours of concluding this. And like mentioned earlier, we have a, um, a dedicated Q&A session at the end where you can shoot your questions and get them answered. We definitely encourage you to participate in it in the end. Um, so that's that. I think uh, we can begin the webinar now. Give me a second to share my screen. And... Uh, please do give me a thumbs up if you're able to see my screen. Are you able to see my screen? Great. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. Um, as you can see, the webinars titled leads to loyalty. So we'll be covering the entire uh, customer life cycle uh, right from leads to them becoming not just your customers, but your customer advocates. Because at the end of the day, the goal should be, uh, the goal should not just be about, you know, having good sales conversions, but rather it should be about having a high customer lifetime value, uh, which means your, you know, your customers should choose to stay with your business for a longer period of time, which would positively impact your business growth. And we'll see how Zoho One's applications can help your business achieve this goal uh, faster and also with a lot of ease. So these are the uh, things that you'll be covering, which is generation of leads, capturing those leads, nurturing them. And once they become your customer, how we engage and nurture them so that, you know, you can your business can experience an improved uh, customer lifetime value. So starting off with a brief introduction of Zoho One, which is your powerful business suite, generally called as the operating system for business. Uh, which has got over 45 applications catering to different business functionalities like sales and marketing, finance and operations, people management tools, customer support tools, communication and collaboration apps, productivity tools, and analytics tools. So today we'll be covering the sales and marketing applications that can help improve the customer life cycle. So we'll begin with generating leads. We convert these leads to prospects, basically the people that are actually interested in buying your product or service. So you strike deals with these prospects. And when you close off on those deals, they become your customers. And once that happens, you're going to have to provide them with the customer support. But um, instead of stopping with just, you know, good support, we are going the whole nine yards by nurturing those customers with uh, communication and engagement at the right time so that you no know, you can experience the um, custom good customer lifetime value or CLV for that matter so I have segregated the first half of this journey into lead generation lead capturing and lead nurturing or in simpler words you attract potential customers you collect contact information of those potential customers and you engage with them and keep their interest alive so that they can be pushed on to the uh, sales pipeline so before we get into each of these buckets let's uh, look into some stats so this is according to forbes and as you can see approximately 3.8 million google searches were conducted each minute many of which were carried <clears throat> carried out to find information on local businesses so this means that if you're a business owner in this uh, dig digital era, your business will have to be on the internet. Um, so let's see why and also how. So 
again according to forbes 85% of cons consumers research online before they make their purchasing decisions and the most used channels are websites which contribute to 74% and social media to 38% so it's uh, imperative that businesses have a strong digital presence that's optimized in order to attract the potential customers so the process goes like this you create a digital presence for your business like a website or a social media platform or platforms um you optimize these channels so that you can be easily found by web searchers and drive good traffic and once you start getting visitors you will need to engage with them provide them the assistance or point them in the right direction basically so this entire tab is going to be attributed to lead generation and then comes the capturing part where you collect information of these leads and um, qualify them and then push them onto the sales pipeline so we'll start off with digi um, creating a digital presence and these are the applications for it zoho sites zoho commerce zoho social and zoho survey so we'll start with zoho sites first so zoho sites is an seo optimized website builder uh, it has got um, inbuilt seo tools and sitemaps so so your site will be easily uh, read by search engines and rank higher on those uh, search engine results so which means that your audience will be able to find your business easily on the internet and you can build it uh, uh, easily it's quite simple to use with easy drag and drop options there is a lot of dynamic backgrounds text boxes sections uh, and etc available for you to use or build your uh, website and also it's a no code app so you can customize your website easily the way you like it using html css and visual editors and also you get a bunch of templates readily available but if you want to start from scratch you can also do that uh, by building your own template and using blogs um, comment boxes and forms uh, you can communicate with your site visitors you can um, fetch uh, um, information and analyze that information you can even set appointments using forms on your websites and with traffic analytics you get to track measure and analyze your uh, visitors behavior so based on that you based on that you can just optimize your website so uh, so this is your uh, Zoho Sites dashboard. As you can see, the URL of the website is linked here and the date and the person who had published it. And down here, you can see the total number of pages associated with this website and the storage occupancy and uh, a very quick visual representation of the traffic in the last uh, seven days. And obviously, we'll be able to change the date range over here. And on to the left, the panel that you can see here, you can see the modules available for you to add uh, pages, blogs, forms, and also to configure your application. So to create uh, or add a page, you click on the pages module, uh, click on add page, push your content, preview it and publish it. To edit the published content, you can come over here, uh, click on the edit content option that you can see, preview and publish the same. And you, you'll obviously be uh, adding forms onto your website. So using the forms module here in the panel, click uh, you can click um, add form, that you can find here, drag and drop your questions. And you, if you want to edit your form, you can also do that by clicking on the edit form options that you can see right here. And the content. So you'll be pushing out content onto your website, be it uh, your home page or whichever page it is. So you, uh, the content that you push will be analyzed for its functionality and SEO friendliness. So here, as you can see, it shows a list of keywords that you've used and their volume. So the total word count can be seen, the number of images without text, the total number of links, uh, both internal and external, and even the readability score. So based on this analysis, you get to further optimize your content. And from the reports module, you get to pull out reports uh, on your page visits and tra overall traffic across a certain uh, time duration. And with that, we'll move on to the next app, which is Zoho Commerce. It's an e-commerce platform that helps you build an um, SEO optimized online store, similar to your uh, Zoho sites. Here as well, you'll, you'll avail the option to drag and drop. Here as well, you get to <clears throat> customize it the way you like using visual editors and templates. Uh, so you can provide, um, so it helps you with um, product order, customer and inventory management. And when it comes to customer management, you can uh, provide your customers with all the details they would need to know about their orders uh, using the member portal that you will uh, give them or provide them with. Uh, 
so you they can learn about their order statuses order details shipping addresses and much more and yeah so like i said this is going to, uh, this is where you know you can simply use the drag and drop options to create your uh, commerce platform so you can preview uh, you can use these elements apps forms um, you can categorize your products and then you can preview them and hit publish they become live and here's the uh, ui for uh, zoho commerce and uh, down here in the uh, to, to your left you can see the dashboard containing you know these modules the first one being orders uh, so you can manage your orders here in the orders tab so you can facilitate payments payments by integrating payment gateways you can even uh, oversee shipping from here and we also have the multi currency feature available so your customers from across the globe can easily view the the pricing in their preferred cur currencies and the final checkout can be in the base currency so zoho commerce is integrated with zoho books which is um, a tax compliant accounting solution so you can also manage and file your taxes from within zoho commerce because of its integration with zoho books so at the end of the day you get to manage and control the entire order life cycle from within the orders module and uh, furthermore you can even connect your social media platforms to zoho commerce to sell better and when it comes to inventory management, uh, Zoho Commerce is integrated with Zoho Inventory. So you can add, delete, and track inventory and also manage stocks. So here, as you can see, this is a quick uh, overview of your uh, sales conversions over a certain period. And uh, we're moving on to the next tab, which is products. So here is where you add and manage products. And in the categories module, you can create multiple filters for your products based on specific um, um, attributes like tags, uh, brands, colors, prices, and things of the sort. So this, uh, what it does is it helps your customers um, or visitors uh, help, uh, sorry, filter and uh, discover their products with a lot of ease. So for example, if you're a textile industry, uh, you, and you're selling clothes basically. So you would be uh, selling shirts, t-shirts, trousers, pants, accessories, and, and a lot more. So using this categories module, you can categorize these products. So uh, let's, say, let's take t-shirts as example. You can categorize them as uh, collared t-shirts, uh, polos, chinos, and a lot more. And under the collections tab, you can further push these categories that you would have made to specific collections based on the product title price uh, tags and brands and from the reports module you get to pull out reports uh, on your sales across different time durations and this is how it is going to look like you can edit the uh, date range um, you get to see the total sales made across a certain duration and with that we'll move to the next uh, application which is uh, zoho social so Zoho Social will help you manage your end-to-end -end social media. You get to monitor your post's performance. You can pull out customized reports and get detailed analytics on it. Uh, so this is the UI for uh, uh, Zoho Social. So as you can see, this blue ribbon over here shows the uh, type of modules that are available for Zoho Social. This is the home. Um, th this is where in, under the post module is where you get to schedule or uh, monitor your posts. Uh, you get to uh, get, uh, receive messages. Um, you get to monitor uh, your post performance or wherever your your um, business has been mentioned on social platforms and the connections, collaborations, and reports module will, will go into each of these. And right in in this corner, there's a plus icon that says new post. So from here is where you push out your social media content. So you click on this uh, new post icon. So a pop up op op opens up like this and you paste or write your content here. If you want to publish it right away, you can do that. Uh, or if you want to publish it or schedule it for a specific date, you can also do that by clicking here. And uh, if you want to add furthermore social media channels that your business has got, you can click the plus icon over here and continue to uh, push out the same content across those different channels. So here, if you want to see how a specific post has been performing, you go to the post module. Uh, and as you can see here on the left, there's a tab called published posts. So you are going to monitor a certain published posts performance. So you click on that particular post and understand how the engagement has been in terms of the reactions that you have gotten for this particular post, how the click distribution has been, whether was there any negative feedback received for it. Uh, and things of the sort. So here we are, uh, like I said uh, earlier, we pull out detailed reports as well. So that can be categorized into a, a clear cut summary 
audience growth, posts and engagement, performance of uh, your overall posts and the reach and impression that the overall post, sorry, that the overall uh, performance or the posts for that matter has uh, gotten over the last 30 days here in this report at least. So you can see from the summary, total number of followers for your X account and uh, the no new followers gained over 30 days, the total posts and the total engagement on each of these posts and whichever was the top post in terms of engagement and engagement by post type. Was it through image? Images, videos, texts, or links. And here, when you want to uh, monitor the audience growth, you, as you can see here from this report, it says uh, in this, from this chart, there's a 34.2K new followers across uh, within a duration of 30 days. And here it says if the posts were organic or sponsored, that is paid for, and where your top followers are from, basically from which region. So these are the insights that you can be the basic insights. It, it, does give detailed insights as, as well. So basic insights of the audience growth. And when it comes to posts and engagement, you get to understand the number of posts versus engagement that has happened across a certain duration. What was the post type and top posts based on engagement. So if you click on the drop down, you get to have a lot more filters as well for this. And yeah, with that, we'll move on to Zoho survey, which is um, uh, uh, going to help you create surveys, questionnaires, and online polls. And here as well, you get to uh, have detailed analytics. So there will be over 25 question types and several uh, themes, like customizable themes for you to choose from. You can also customize reports to help you understand uh, the visitors or audiences' uh, response trends. So here, yeah, as you can see, you can click on the plus create uh, sorry, create survey button here to create a new survey. It also shows the number of ones that's gotten published and the ones that are yet to be. And as mentioned earlier, you can drag and drop, drop from these uh, 25 uh, plus question types that can be found here. Give it a title. If you want to move on to the next page, you can also do that by adding extra questions. So uh, you hit publish and the uh, survey gets published. And here in the next slide, using the Builder tab, you can configure the survey settings based on your preferences. And if you click Save, those preferences get saved. And based on that, you, you will be creating your uh, next few surveys. And here, by clicking on the Summary tab, you get to see the overall details shared and collected through these surveys. You can also edit them. And here, as you can see, the theme that is applied uh, is basic. So similar details can be procured by clicking on the Summary tab. And with that, I think we have covered the um, applications that will help you create a digital presence for your business. Let's now see how we can optimize this digital presence here. So optimization can be done with Zoho PageSense, which is an A-B testing and optimization software, uh, which will help you uh, improve your overall website conversions. So it shows your visitors behavior, what is uh, got them interested, where they spend a lot of time, where they don't spend a lot of time. And it has got A-B testing also. So you can create variations of your website and compare their performance to figure out which one works better or best. And with web analytics, you got tools like uh, um, uh, funnel analytics, form analytics, and heat map. So this combined with your A-B testing tool, you will be able to easily improve website conversions because the data from which the data that you'll be getting from out of these uh, tools, the analytics tools will help you uh, decide uh, or optimize your uh, website better. So firstly, as you can see, this is a home page that is being uh, experimented under the AB testing format. So the URL for which the testing is done is attached here. And two of the variants, the original uh, uh, website and the variation for this, the Variation number one of this particular uh, website is uh, can be seen here. And the goal for this experiment is ba basically to understand which has got better button clicks. The participation rate can be seen here. And the target audience is uh, basically uh, here when it comes to this, like with respect to this particular screenshot, uh, the visitors will be uh, people, from, uh, people who are visiting your website from desktop devices. So this way you get to understand what uh, next steps can be done or which whichever is performing better and you can go ahead with that. And next, like moving on to heat maps. So with heat maps, you get to understand your visitor behavior better. So here you go to the report section and you, uh, you know, link the URL here. Uh, you, you basically get the visitor click scrolls and en engagement. 
so this is how you will be looking into your heat map so this let's say for example is your website so you can figure out which section is driving most traffic uh, which uh, web elements are quite distracting for the audience uh, which content has performed better or you know whichever is resonating well with your audience and whichever is not doing that great so these are the type of insights that you can get from out of uh, a heat map and uh, moving on to the next slide just okay form metrics so you would uh, have forms attached to your website and to understand your uh, visitors uh, interaction with these forms you use form analysis sorry so you can find out how many website visitors um, have started filling out the form how many has actually submitted it and how many has dropped off so based on this you can again like i said optimize your forms and here like i said you will have multiple fields in your forms right so the name email address phone numbers and um, the country they are from and much more so using field metrics you get to understand if visitors are hesitant to share any specific information which influences the drop offs so these are the fields they, these are where the focuses have been uh, where they have refocused where they have corrected their uh, forms and uh, how many has drop off, dropped off so using this in, intel you you'll understand which uh, fields can be avoided or why is it uh, having this uh, you know uh, drop off basically so that that can also be addressed and uh, optimized better and the final slide for page sense is uh, the overall uh, the analytics which shows the overall performance of uh, the page across a certain duration as you can see here um so two of these pages or two of these sites are linked here um so here it's the contact page and here it's the home page so the page views for this the unique page views the average time spent on these pages the entrance rate exit rate and the bounce rate can be seen so this will be like the consolidated view where you get to understand the overall picture quite quickly and uh, with that i think we can move on to engaging your leads so for that the application will be zoho sales iq yeah so this essentially is an engagement solution that can be used across teams so your marketing team can use it your sales team your support support teams so all of them can use this and they can collaborate with this also uh, at a much easier rate and more importantly they can communicate with uh, every site visitor at every stage or funnel of the customer life cycle so you have options to chat live uh, instant messaging is there you get uh, chat bots for automated responses and there's uh, an option for you to score leads and push the best ones onto the funnel sales funnel and there's also visitor tracking so visitor tracking will give you real time insights on your website uh, visitors uh, 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 behavior and uh, uh, their source uh, their patterns of uh, browsing um, so essentially you get to uh, have all these insights to push the best ones onto the sales funnel quickly and here yeah so with uh, this is a real time track uh, website tracking with this you get to know who's on your website um how they are interacting with your site in real time uh, you you also can uh, set criteria like location uh, actions performed the time spent uh, the source of this traffic and a lot more and here this you can engage in live chats with your visitors by using the live chat option so this high message from a website visitor is being interacted with by a sales person or a marketing person for that matter and here uh with the chatbot option you can automate your conversations and uh, uh help address any assistance or questions that your visitors might have so I, and also it can be done at any time of the day because bots are actually available 24/7 and uh, yeah so scoring leads uh so we we do lead scoring to understand the overall visitor engagement level so you can use these insights to um understand opportunities for you to upsell or cross sell so with custom lead scoring you can create rules based on the visitor information the behavioral data the number of visits the time spent on each site uh, or even page what is the source what is the region they are from and a lot more to know which uh, sales uh like which leads are ready for sales so you allocate points to these rules or actions that you would have customized or created and based on those points you get to push them on push the best ones on to the sales uh, pipeline and i believe with that we'll move on to the uh, next um bucket which is lead capturing 
so the uh, applications for these would be Zoho Forms and Zoho Backstage. We'll start with Zoho Forms. <clears throat> so Zoho Forms is a no-code online form builder, uh, which will help you procure uh, data from across uh, uh, different sources like websites, social media platforms, emails, and the likes. You get uh, instant notifications when forms get submitted for you to take the uh, next steps to it. You can also get paid using uh, uh, Zoho Forms securely. And here's the UI for your Zoho Forms. So as you can see, these are the uh, modules available. You click on the Forms module. You click on New Form. Drag and drop your uh, questions or options available for you to create a form. And you, you can have this form attached to your websites um, or emails. And here is uh, yeah here is where you can assign tasks to team members that are associated with the form. For uh, uh, let's take for example, you are a language training center and you have uh, collected student details for a training program to categorize and organize the training. Uh, you can uh, assign uh, tasks to users to carry out the next step. So you've gotten the student details. So the next step to this. Uh, data procurement is what will be done by the team members within your team or within your organization. For that, you'll be assigning the uh, specific uh, team members to certain forms. And here is where you get to control the user. So you can add new ones. You can change the super admin. Basically, you know, control the entire information that you'd be receiving from across uh, different sources. And I guess we can move on to the next yeah, application, which is Zoho Backstage. So Backstage is something that will help you with your end-to-end -end event management. So right from building an event website uh, to selling tickets, uh, promoting the event, um, following, with, uh, following up with attendees. So it does it all. And here, as you can see, under the All tab, so these are the modules. Uh, the ones that are running live drafts passed and can canceled and also under the all tab you can see uh, the events that have been created uh, the ones that are running the ones that got completed and the ones that are in the draft state to create a new event you click on the plus uh, sorry create event uh, option over here you fill in the required details and you can hit publish your event page will go live so here's where you get insights on an event that got over. So the total attendees can be seen. The ones that are the repeat attendees can be seen here. Attendees by location, where they are basically from, and which type of event they attended. Was it online? Was it uh, on-site or hybrid? And yeah, so when you click on a certain event, you get uh, you get this page opened. Uh, so as you can see here, the overview is what we're going to uh, discuss right now. It has got details. Uh, of the event websites URL, the tickets that were sold and unsold, number of sessions that we have got for this event, the staff or the organizers associated with it, and things of the sort. And here, when we move to the settings option, you get to add or edit your um, logo for the event, the event thumbnail, favicon. And if you've got any terms and conditions for this event, you can add that here. And as uh, discussed earlier, through sales IQs integration, you get to have live chat. So people would be uh, visiting your event website to understand about more about the event. So there you get to engage with those visitors and point them in the right direction. And when it comes to visitor web, uh, website visitor tracking, you get to understand how you're, in real time they are interacting uh, or um, engaging with your uh, website, the event website. So yeah, with that, we'll move on to lead nurturing. Yeah. So Zoho Marketing Automation will be the tool to nurture your leads. Uh, so this is a multi-channel solution. It will help you create sales-ready leads and essentially uh, ease into the whole uh, marketing process. So you can engage with your audience at every touch point. So you generate leads using different channels. You save them under a single console. You can identify the source of these leads. Uh, let's say, you know, it could be a landing page or a form or even social media platforms. And with contact management, you can upload your contacts to your Zoho Marketing Automation account. Uh, you can categorize them into various groups based on whatever your business needs is. Um, you can electronic creation you can group your leads depending on their stages you can um you can get to know your prospects follow up with them you can convert them into actual customers and lead uh, sorry nurture these leads so you uh, 
through engagement and through communication you nurture them and at the right moment you push the best ones on to the uh, sales team and we also have marketing planner on the zoho marketing automation it will help you plan and execute your end to end marketing campaigns so with analytics um, okay so from um, budget planning to calculating your roi roi you get to know the end to end analytics of it all and in a nutshell if i have to say you attract potential customers um you chase the sales qualified leads you convert them to actual paying customers and get detailed campaign insights from lead nurturing sorry from uh, zoho marketing automation my bad so here you can uh, get the overall journey of the contacts it starts off as raw leads and upon filtering these contacts uh, across different stages they become um, sales qualified give me one second Yeah, sorry about that. Um, so starting off uh, from this slide, so like I said, this is uh, going to show you the uh, journey, overall journey of the contacts. It starts off as raw leads. Uh, you filter these raw leads across different stages. They become qualified or sales qualified leads at the end. And <clears throat> here you get detailed insights on the source of these leads and the overall uh, over time, uh, sorry, life cycle of a contact over a certain duration. And um, so there are actually several lead stages here like raw leads marketing ready marketing engaged marketing qualified and finally the sales ready leads so you get to configure this lead stage journey from under the contacts module by clicking on the lead qualification tab here so by clicking on the plus icons here between each of these uh, existing stages you can add a custom trigger element to configure each filter and here okay this shows a simple follow-up journey so we'll see how the automation can be done so every lead in a sense will take a different path to become a customer so to cater to this um, scenario you can personalize customer journeys and nurture their nurture the leads so with journey builder what happens is you can create unique or uh, personalized uh, engagement plans for your leads based on their behavior and personalize the journey for them so what you get out of this is um, your tasks and act activities associated with these lead journeys can be automated so even when you're away you'll be able to uh, get these uh, tasks done or have the lead engagement active so here upon submitting a form you receive an email in a day and within two hours of receiving this email the data gets pushed on to crm so your task gets automated like this and with that we'll move to the uh, sales pipeline <clears throat> so the applications will be zoho bookings and zoho crm for sales pipeline but we'll discuss the zoho bookings uh, application firstly and have crm pushed to the end so with uh, bookings okay so it's an um, appointment scheduling software so it's going to help you schedule all your meetings and organize your meetings quite easily you can map your uh, domains uh, you can use uh, custom functions to automate your workflows for example if you are a business will have to, which will have to send uh, uh, recurrent emails or any repetitive task for that matter you get to uh, do that using the uh, workflows or custom functions basically and the customer reports can also be pulled out it this will help you um, get a better understanding of who's your most valuable customer uh, how the trends have been in your booking so far if there's been any dip in the revenue and things of the sort so here you can so here's where you go to map the booking page to your domain so that's done under the settings option and you can go to your calendar tab to create a new appointment with your stakeholders fill in the relevant tabs your new your appointments uh, get uh, created and under the services module you can create services and generate um, 
separate booking pages for each of the service that you'll be creating. And you can send them, send your customers the URL for exactly whatever they are looking for. So let's say your business is about uh, uh, delivering language training programs to people both online and offline. So you will need to schedule multiple meetings on a daily basis, obviously. And also you will need to categorize and organize these several trainings that you offer. So you can streamline this process by creating services, how many ever services you want to create in under this module. And you can assign staff to these services so that their classes can be run um, effectively. And also you can specify, uh, uh, you can assign specific uh, time for it to run. So all these can be done under this services tab. And moving on to the staff tab, here is where you get to uh, create staff profile, fill in the re required information, and you can send personalized emails to your uh, customers um, from within your uh, specific team members' email addresses. Um, and with that, I guess we can move on to the engagement, yeah, customer engagement bucket. So that will be done by your Zoho campaigns. Yes. So if your business predominantly relies on email marketing to reach uh, to engage better, to to have uh, better growth and um, uh, uh, to grow your audience better, basically, and therefore your business for that matter, then Zoho campaigns is something that's for you. You can, with contact management, you can add and import uh, your contacts or leads from across sources, segment these contacts and score them, uh, and uh, you can push this qualified contacts onto the sales pipeline. And you have an inbuilt uh, template uh, here, template builder, uh, or if you want to do uh, create right from scratch, you can also do that and you can do the end to end email campaign management and we also Zoho campaigns also have a B testing. So here, this is an email template that can be uh, easily created through the simple drag and drops available from the sidebar here, or you can develop your own template like it's right, uh, like I said, right from scratch. And here's an A-B testing experiment done for an email to figure out which one's better suited and optimized. So the split details and the campaign details can be seen over here. And whichever has performed better, you can go with that particular email campaign. And uh, this here is an example of uh, a certain email campaign. You can add the topic, give a subject, push the content, send a test email and before you push it out. And here you can pull, um, campaign based reports as you can see real time uh, data on which campaigns have performed uh, better um, in terms of open percentages locations across different time ranges so with that will move on to um, customer support uh, that is done using zoho desk uh, so with desk you can uh, seamlessly collaborate with your agents and even sales teams for better decision makings and uh, you can refine the overall customer journey also um, with ticket management you can yeah you can manage and organize your tickets from across different sources and improve your agent's productivity through to through a feature called work modes that automatically will be organizing your open tickets so with zia zia the contextual ai what happens is uh, you can close tickets quite quickly with uh, with Zia providing the contextual responses based on knowledge base um, with customers directly. So here, yeah, this is the overview of the dashboard for desk, for Zoho desk. As you can see, there's a detailed status uh, of the tickets with specific numbers associated. So the number of, in the last 24 hours, this is the stat statistics. Um, this the uh, the open tickets can be seen here the ones that are on hold the overdue ones the ones that are due today the um, ones that are due in an hour and also that's unassigned and the unassigned tickets overall so here are some ticket stats traffic analysis the overall response time and your happiness rating so a bird's eye view of how your tickets have, have been performing within the last 24 hours can be seen there and uh, here under the tickets module you get to see you know, tickets flown in from across different sources like social media, uh, emails, and even the age-old phone calls. So you open a certain ticket, you work on it, and if it's done, you can click uh, consider it that uh, market has closed. Or if you think that there's going to have to be an intervention from another team, you can tag these uh, team members onto a certain ticket for them to get notifications about it, and they can take it forward from there. And uh, yeah. So the live chat feature embedded from Sales IQ will automatically turn chats to tickets. So your support folks can address and close these tickets from uh, Zoho desk. desk. Mm. 
so you can also see the type of uh, visitor they are so basically you get to understand uh, insights on the visitor that you're chatting with using the integration of uh, sales iq so under the activities tab here you can see the calls and screen shares performed in solving a ticket and here you can when you're setting up your zoho desk you can integrate zoho desks instant messaging tool with these uh, popular uh, im tools to start instant conversations with your customers and we'll move on to zoho analytics which will help you measure your roi so this is a business intelligence tool which will help you create and share comprehensive reports that will help in taking informed decisions so i'll be showing a fragmented or a smaller version of the sales overview analytics uh, because like i said this is such a vast and comprehensive application that will uh, provide you with detailed reports which can further also be customized so uh, so this is a sales performance overview so in a quarter you can see the number of deals the ones that are open the revenue generated the expected revenue for the other next quarter and the one the wins that you can wins can be seen here and here under the sorry for the leads overview uh, report there's a comparison between leads the ones that were converted and the one, deals that were won and the uh, a funnel that shows leads to deals stage so in which stage what was impacted uh, also in terms of um, money so here this is a graph that shows a uh, um, the pipeline by amount and stage right from the negotiation stage to the uh, place where uh, to the stage where it got qualified so negotiation when you know when since we are under the negotiation stage there won't be any amount associated with it but right when you when you start quoting or um, start your proposals to these um, leads uh, your amounts uh, associated with each of those stages get populated over here and so in a nutshell your marketing team uh, helps generate leads through zoho sites zoho surveys or social and zoho commerce um, and your sales team converts uh, these leads to prospects with zoho forms backstage and zoho sales iq and they close off on those deals using zoho books uh, the tax compliant accounting solution that helps generate quotes invoices and even file taxes which will lead them to becoming your customers and uh, your customer support team will use zoho desk for providing support and uh, your marketing team would use zoho marketing automation and zoho campaigns for nurturing these customers and retain them for them for longer periods and all these data would uh, from across all these apps would flow into your crm zoho crm uh, for all of your teams to access them in order to make better decisions and now we'll just take a look into the modules that are there uh, in CRM. As you can see, this will be your module tab where you can see um, modules like leads, contacts, accounts, deals, and much more. So we'll just see uh, leads uh, to deals. So leads are basically your raw information that are to be followed up on. So these are unqualified. These are people who might or might not be interested in your business. And when you contact them and filter out the ones that are actually interested, those become the ones that are actually interested become your uh, pro prospects. So these are your contacts. So someone who is actually interested in your product or service. So these are the qualified leads. You are, you're basically going to have to sell to them. And accounts is basically the organization of the business this contact will work for. And deals is where you strike a deal or propose a quote and with these contacts or accounts that you're uh, in touch with. So this will be your Zoho CRM's uh, dashboard. Uh, so it gives a brief understanding of your uh, open deals, the untouched ones, your calls, your activity tools are also here, the meeting schedule with a certain uh, lead or a contact, uh, same with open tasks also. And the overall leads can also be seen here. Now we'll look into the leads module. So yeah, here, as you can see under the leads module, uh, the name of the lead, the company that they are associated with, their contact uh, details, email and phone, and the so lead uh, source can be seen here. So where this uh, lead got to you in the first place so was it through an advertisement was it through a cold call was it uh using a social media platform uh was it uh, through an online store and things of the sort and moving along to the leads uh sorry deals module so here is where you get to see the deal 
uh, name the amount associated with these deals uh, and the stages in which the each of these leads are for example one is lost one is one one is under needs analysis and one is under quotes one is under negotiation or review and also the closing date associated with each of these deals can be found here and uh, so yeah, obviously you'll be able to pull out detailed reports from out of CRM considering the fact that all of your uh, sales and marketing applications data gets flown into your CRM right from it being a simple lead report to it becoming your uh, any decision that would impact uh, so any uh, report that would impact your further uh, business projects. So uh, from here is where from the reports module is where you get to pull out detailed uh, reports from on anything at all for that matter. Mm. So we'll see uh, how your sales and marketing, so like what your sales and marketing applications key integrations are. But before we do that, uh, you can scan this QR code to learn which Zoho One apps speak with each other. Um, um, and if you're not able to do it right now, it's all right because the recorded version will be shared with you all via email during which you can uh, scan the QR code and it will take you to a link where you can see which Zoho ones, uh, One apps are integrated with each other. And right now we'll go to the key integrations of these sales and marketing applications that we saw. Mm. Yep, so Zoho Commerce is integrated with uh, uh, Zoho Sales IQ, which will help you uh, help provide um, or help initiate a live chats and chatbots. So every visitor that will be there on your online store uh, gets uh, engaged with using these uh, live chat and chatbot options. And using Zoho survey, sorry, Zoho survey is uh, integrated with CRM and commerce. So the Zoho CRM integration will, will help you with um, the customer satisfaction uh, data and uh, you get to understand your customer feedback by, uh, with uh, Zoho commerce's integration. Um, Zoho PageSense is integrated with Zoho CRM, so you can push your website visitors journey onto CRM like we saw in the in one of the other slides. Um, Zoho Sales IQ is integrated with sites, CRM and desk. With sites, you get to track visitors, uh, website visitors in real time. And with CRM's integration, you can push prospect and customer data from Sales IQ to CRM. And with desks integration, you can convert chats to tickets automatically, like we saw, or also manually from Sales IQ. And uh, Zoho Forms is integrated with Zoho Marketing Automation and Zoho CRM. With marketing automation, um, the you can capture leads, add them to Zoho Marketing Automation's mailing list, and automate all the marketing activities end to end. With uh, CRM's integration, you can create and update your CRM records and uh, uh, activate your uh, workflows. And Zoho Marketing Automation is uh, integrated with Forms, CRM, and Analytics. So similar to what we saw earlier, with Forms, you can collect visitor and customer details. With CRM's integration, you bring the leads, nurture them, and convert them to customers. So basically, through CRM, you get that contact information, which will be flown into your marketing automation. And with Insights, uh, you get to understand your lead growth and overall campaign performance. So Bookings is integrated with CRM. You can schedule appointments with your contacts and leads uh, in your Zoho CRM. Uh, you can add new Bookings customers to any module in Zoho CRM. And under the Meetings module in Zoho CRM, you can access all of the Zoho Bookings appointments. And Desk, Zoho Desk is integrated with Zoho Survey to learn your customer support performance better. And Zoho Desk is also integrated with Zoho CRM for uh, better cross-selling opportunities. And uh, the analytics integration with Desk will bet help you uh, with uh, mm, help you visually analyze your um, customer support data, and you can build uh, strong reports and dashboards as well. Um, and finally, Zoho CRM is integrated with Zoho Sales IQ for uh, to understand or to identify how your website visitors' uh, engagement has been, and you also get real-time notifications for each of those visits. And with Zoho Marketing Automation's integration with CRM, you can understand the entire lead to customer journey data. With Desk's integration, you can view and respond to customer tickets right within the CRM account. And with the analytics integration with CRM, you get uh, complete analytics on everything related to sales and marketing um, processes. So in conclusion, 
Zoho One sales and marketing applications will not only drive your sales conversions, but also it impacts the it impact the overall customer life cycle positively, which in return will aid your uh, business growth. So I've added a couple of customer success stories for us to look at. Um, Engageify is a trade show engagement service company that has grown five times its original size over five years and their revenue has increased from 200k to more than a million um and then we have crown bees who have seen immense roi since implementing um, zoho one and as you can see carl alexander the marketing director of crown bees has uh, mentioned that they have, they were able to experience a year on your growth of 22 percent and since they were able to fine-tune their process uh, they were able to focus better on their customer support which in turn helped their sales process so um, i i guess i'm i would i believe you know leveraging zoho one's sales and marketing applications your business too could have better sales and conversions um, sorry better sales conversions and have uh, improved customer lifetime value and yeah and with that i'm concluding the webinar you can shoot your questions now i'll stop the recording and also stop the screen sharing